Bizarre Global. Hello everyone, my name is Arthur and I am the creative mind behind Bizarre Global. I typically don't really talk on this channel too much. I usually use my text-to-speech software and I do that for a number of reasons. One, because it's just super, super simple to put out content. It's way more efficient than me talking and making mistakes and have to re record and redub stuff. So it's just, it's purely for efficiency. But I do like talking and I promise to talk more on this channel because I believe that's the best way to build a personal relationship with your, your favorite content creators. And I really wanna build a relationship with my audience. We are currently at 375 subscribers, which is amazing to me. That might not seem like a lot, of, a lot to some people, but I just imagine that many people in a room with me listening to me talk and I'm just floored that that many people care about this channel and they're interested to see what I put out next. So thank you very much for being here. Give me your time, give me your eyes, watching my content. Thank you so much. So why am I talking today? I mentioned that I normally just use text to speech, but why am I talking today? Well, I think today is special. Um, a couple of hours ago, NASA released one of the first images from the James Webb Telescope, and it is absolutely stunning. And I just wanted to talk about it. So if you're looking at my screen now, looking at what I'm showing, here we can see one of the deepest and sharpest infrared images of the early universe ever taken. And just thinking to myself, each one of these is a galaxy that holds billions of stars. Just imagine the possibilities out there. I grew up watching The Twilight Zone, The Outer Limits, Star Trek, um, Enterprise, Voyager, Star Wars. Um, my, one of my favorite shows growing up was Sliders. Uh, I used to stay up late at night and watch those Nova documentaries on PBS. I absolutely love space. And when I saw this image, my childhood and my just my mind just raced with so many thoughts and ideas and feelings. And I just find it sad that humans don't live long and we, we have such short lifespans and we don't have really have a chance to explore the universe. We're kind of stuck on an island. But in another lifetime, maybe in another lifetime and another species, I could be a space explorer and just travel the universe. And my job could be to just study other planets and other civilizations and see how they developed and study their cultures and their customs. I, I would absolutely love to do something like that. But this image right here, um, I just find it amazing. I just wanted to talk about it. And NASA is going to be releasing more images um, soon, I think, maybe in a couple of hours as well, of other images from the James Webb telescope and I'm just excited to talk about those as well. I believe this particular image we're looking at now is called is a galaxy cluster SMACS0723 also known as SMAX0723 and it's just overflowing with details. We're looking at thousands of galaxies um, observed in infrared and what I find incredibly fascinating is that this little image right here, this rectangle, this, this square, whatever your device you're looking on, this is just one small patch of space. This is not even 1% of space. Space is, she might as well just say damn near unlimited, you know, from a human's perspective, considering our life, lifetimes and lifespans. But this is just one small grain of sand. This is just one piece of the universe. We're sitting in a in a universe full of billions of galaxies and stars, trillions of galaxies and stars. And I just wish I could travel the universe and look at every single planet and study it and study all the civilizations out there. I just would really love to do something like that. I even dream about it. But I just wanted to talk about this image. I mean, it just really got me in my emotions today. Um, I love it. I just love thinking about space and all the possibilities out there. And I'm so excited for NASA to release the next batch of images. And the James Webb Telescope, I'm just thinking like, we haven't even seen that what it can do yet. We haven't even seen its full capabilities yet. And this first image is stunning, for lack of better words, stunning. And I'm just thinking like, technology is only going to get better. Like the James Webb Telescope, 
when the next telescope goes out, you know, whenever that goes out, it's going to look way better than this. And then there's going to be another another telescope that looks way better better than that. And I'm just like, just shocked that I get to see this. I'm so grateful as well. And my only wish in life is that I could, you know, live long enough to really see us contact other civilizations and actual actually get images from other planets. That would just that would make my life. <laughs> but anyway, it's three o'clock in the morning where I am. I'm just up late thinking about all this stuff. Um, I think this time for me is probably the best time for me to actually talk and make content because usually during the day my house is jam packed with noise. I have family members running around doing stuff um, and it gets quite busy. And so at night I get to kind of wind back and just do what I do what I want and get into what I'm into, science, technology, mathematics, um, sci-fi stuff, all types of stuff. And so one thing I can say is that I have a lot more content coming out on this channel. So much to talk about. I mean, it's just the, the, the possibilities are endless. I mean, I got so much, so many ideas floating around in my mind that I want to put out and in um, video format and uh, I actually do want to talk more on this channel and use my actual voice but I will continue to use text to speech honestly because it's just really really efficient for me and it helps me um, with my busy schedule and whatnot but I do promise to talk more and I just want to thank you for being here with me and if you watch the video this long thank you for being here if you're one of my 375 subscribers Thank you so much for giving me your time and energy and supporting this channel. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. More content coming soon, and that's pretty much it. I will make another video uh, when NASA releases the next batch of images. But until then, thank you very much for being here, and thank you for your time. Enjoy discussions about science, technology, the odd and paranormal. Consider joining our account. Uh, I mean subscribing to our channel.